Hey you guys, it's me, Ashley, and in today's video, I'm going to be trying the craziest product ever. Do you guys remember that three second brow product I tried? If not, it will be linked up here somewhere. <laughs> but if you do, I found a new product by the same brand, three second lash. You guys, these are magnetic lashes, and I can't wait to try these. If you guys wanna see how they work, if they work, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys, my husband is going to be so mad at me because he really wanted to see these, but he is at work right now, and I just can't go without trying them any longer. Really, I just have a chance to film, so I'm taking advantage of it, but I'll show him later, or I'll try to wear them long enough for him to see. I just ripped it, trying to get the tape off of it. I've seen these on like one other channel and it was Tati's Glam Life Guru here on YouTube and I don't think they were like this brand. This is like, you can find this in the ass scene on TV section at Walmart. So this is what it comes in and then I have this little packet, this I guess to keep it from smelling bad. <laughs> That's awkward. All right, so we have the instructions. Preparing to use three second lash magnetic eyelashes. It says that applying them in front of a mirror is recommended. Good to know. A magnifying mirror is helpful, but not required. Also good to know. Lay out a white or light colored towel in front of you so you can easily locate the lashes in case they fall down during application. Wash and dry your face before applying three second lash. Apply mascara and any other eye makeup before applying three second lash. Do not apply mascara directly to the magnet lashes. They are intended to be reusable. Always handle them by the lash line and not by the fil fiber. With the top magnetic lash laying on your lash line, use your fingers to a, or applicator tool to align the bottom lash directly below the top lash. Red dot facing up. The magnets will attach and your natural lashes will be sandwiched in between the magnetic lashes. Hmm. My air conditioner just came on you guys, so I'm really sorry if that irritates you. Hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Usually I have a cat dogs or my children in the background so hopefully you guys won't be bothered too much just gonna scoot closer and turn my mirror so that I can see myself this is what the case looks like said it was magnet oh I guess where the lashes go it's magnetic haha <laughs> okay so we have all of the top lashes here in this row and then the bottom ones here so I'm assuming they go with the one next to them Top lashes here, bottom lashes here. I think I'm gonna use the fuller ones, but I'm assuming I'm gonna use like maybe two to go across my entire eye, I don't know. They don't really all look the same. Like this one's kind of wonky, but oh well. Okay, so that's what it is. This, the back of this is actually magnetic to hold them in place. And then this is the tool. It doesn't really like open and close very easily, so. I think I'm going to use this one, which is the Tarte one, which may or may not have eyelash glue on it. I'm just going to hold it like, oh, it's trying to stick to this. Okay, I'm going to hold this, and it says to rest this one on top of the lash line. Ooh, that's too far out. I mean, it's on there. That actually looks kind of cool, but it's too far out on, on my lashes. It's not actually on my lash line. It, it's got a good grip as well, so that's good. That's really weird. I'm gonna try the other side. It's so much easier with my fingers. Whoa. I think I'm gonna go with 
the middle row, which they kind of look really close to the top row anyway. It doesn't look like it's like a light, medium, and heavy. It just looks like it's like a light, light, heavy. I know it says not to hold them by the fibers, but it's really hard not to. From like looking head on from me to you, it actually looks really awesome. Like my lashes look super full and fluffy and they look almost, I don't want to say like natural, but almost natural. But then <laughs> when you get up close, you can see that the band actually like it's flat, obviously, you know, like let me show you. See how the band is like literally flat where the magnet is? It's staying flat across my lash line. It's not folding and looking natural with my lash line at all. At least in my opinion from what I'm looking at, it actually looks really cute. But then you get up close and personal and it's like, what in the world? Okay, so what do you guys think? <laughs> I met this guy at my job who told me his wife swears by these. So I'm thinking that if they did individuals, you know, like maybe three or four little fibers per, per band, maybe if each magnet, they only had enough fibers for the length of the magnet itself, and you just had a bunch of little magnets, and I don't know that they don't actually make those, but I think those would be a lot nicer looking. I really love this effect. And it was so easy. And I'm not gonna rip my lashes out trying to pull lash glue off of my eyes. But at the same time, I work and I go out in public and I get like up close and personal, you know, like within talking distance to people. And you can definitely tell that they're not on my eyes all the way. And I wear lashes every day. And I wear my makeup full out every day. So, I have like not trying to make myself sound like like I look all full beat glam so beautiful every day but I wear makeup and people notice it so I know if I went out with like a full beat face and these magnet lashes with the flat bands that didn't that didn't line up with my eye shape at all or didn't fold to my eye at all like these don't people would notice and I'm not trying to be like the laughing stock of my job or anything which is kind of a bummer because you guys, these really do look pretty. Like, I like this effect. So, what do you guys think? I'm gonna blink my eyes really fast and see if they fall off. They don't feel like they're falling off. They don't feel heavy, like any heavier than what band, the lashes I usually wear with the bands on them. They don't feel any different than that. I thought that it would be really irritating having the lash under my eyelashes, you know, but it's really not. I know that since it's clamped onto my lashes, it's like a third of the way down my actual lashes. So it's not on my lash line at all, which I know makes it not natural looking, especially up close. So let me know what you guys think. Have you tried these magnetic lashes? Would you? I don't think I'll wear them out. I don't think so. I'm going to have to look into seeing if they have them where they're like, the lashes are only as long as the magnet itself because I think that would be a really cool thing. You just have to put like four or five instead of two long bands. Do you guys know anything like that? Let me know. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of weird, but it's pretty cool, I guess. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. They will all be linked down below. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel with your notifications on so you don't miss anything from me in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.